Hi guys, um, Mr. G here. Um, we looking at 2015 paper one, question one, okay. So um, this one here says factorize the following expressions, okay. Now, one of the things that I want to highlight maybe here is the fact that as you need to remind yourself of the different kind of methods of factorization, you know, you've got highest common factor, you know, you can be asked to factorize a trinomial. You know that you've got difference of two squares or perfect squares, you know, so either dots or dots, same thing. You know, you've got the sum again or difference of cubes, okay, two cubes, and you also have factorization by grouping. So these are the tools at your disposal at this point, and you've got to look at the expression that you are given and select the relevant tool. I hope you can agree with me that difference of two squares appeals more in this problem than any other method. So we're gonna go ahead and write these things as squares. So x to the exponent four is the same as x squared to the exponent two using one of the laws of exponents. And um, of course, 81, we know it is nine squared, so we can leave it as that <coughs> and then we apply the rule for difference of two squares. So this will be x squared minus nine into x squared plus nine. And then this simplifies into what we can still apply difference of two squares here because nine is a perfect square. So x plus three, and then we have x squared plus nine. We can't do anything to that. We can't factorize it at least for any real solution. So we leave it at that point. So just maybe to put that for you, nine is three squared, okay? And then the next one that follows is this one here, six x squared y minus 10 x y uh, plus 15 x minus 25. And of course, we're gonna try this and group here and see if we can win. So uh, the number that goes into six and 10 without a leave, uh, leaving a remainder, at this point it is two, okay? And then the highest common factor here also in terms of the variable, it is x, okay? And that's the same there here, it is y and it's the same thing there. Now, six divided by two is three, x squared divided by x is x, y divided by y is one. So you know one is one of those invisible um, methods that we do. And then of course, 10 divided by two is five, x divided by x is one, y divided by y is one. So we leave it at that. And at this point, guys, this bracket here tells me that I must have a three x minus five if really I'm doing this correctly, okay? so. Here it seems like five is the common factor. Or I can just say what is 15x divided by three x, that is five. And what is 25 divided by five, it is five. And then I simply, I, I now take out the highest common factor, which in this uh, as case, three x minus five. And here I'll be left with two x y plus five. And that's it, you've got your full max, okay? so. That is um, straightforward. I know you don't really struggle with um, uh, grouping, okay? Let's come to this one here, uh, three over a minus four plus two algebraic fractions, right? Plus three minus 21 all over a squared minus a minus 12. And of course, everything seems to be fine in the first two terms, so I'll leave them as they are. And I just need to now do a little fix here, and that is factorization. It's a trinomial. And really in this case, the, the, this denominators here are actually giving me an idea of you know, how my, uh, my factors here should look like. So I'm gonna go ahead here, do a minus four into a plus three. Of course, I hope you would have uh, tried to figure it out if you did not see it the way I see it, and then, yeah, get your answer there. So this is the LCD, and remember now, guys, the LCD is that number, the lowest number, okay, which can accommodate all these numbers here, okay? 
uh, which can be written as a product of these numbers here. So we can see a minus four is there, it is a factor here it is. The same thing a plus three is here is a factor and this whole thing is represented here. That is why we did not have to repeat uh, uh, this a minus four or a plus three. Okay, you must just think of this thing as a number. This thing here is a number, that thing here is a number, that thing is a number and that thing is a number. So in finding the LCD, we can see when we, this thing here represents that number and that number, okay. Now, um, we can see it's the usual routine now of solving fractions. This will divide that, so I'm left with a plus three. Okay, I come here, what is missing here? This thing is missing, so again, that, so that's just different ways to look into that. And then um, I can simplify, this is three a plus nine. Um, plus 2a minus 8 minus 21 uh, all over a minus 4 into a plus 3 and then we can see 3a and 2a will be 5a and then uh, 9 minus uh, 8 will really be positive 1 minus 21 that will give us a minus 20 and then we have a minus four into a plus three. And you can see that numerator can be factorized. Five is the highest common factor. And then we have a minus four into a plus three. And this is one of the things that you like doing, you enjoy it. So the final answer here um, is five over a plus three. And then your full marks, of course, in the back again. And then we've got 1.2.2 here, 10 to the exponent of 2x plus 3 times 4 to the exponent of 1 minus x, all over 25 to the exponent of 2 plus x. Now, guys, the key thing really here is to see if you can write this basis as prime numbers or in terms of prime numbers. Of course, uh, 10 is a product of two prime numbers, that is two and five, okay? And then we can, uh, we leave that as it is, okay? Times four, you know it is two squared, and then one minus x, okay? And then of course, uh, we have to do the same thing for five, it is five squared, two, plus x. Now you know one of these laws of exponents, if I have a and b raised to the power n, then this means a to the power n, or exponent n and b to the exponent n, all right? So that's actually what I'm going to apply for each and every uh, uh, power here, okay? So let's see, two to the exponent of two x plus three, five to the exponent of two x plus three, and then two to the exponent of two minus two x, you got to be very careful there. And then this is five to the exponent, what? Four plus two x. Now we do again another usual thing. I've got same basis. So, uh, remember this multiplication, same basis. That means I can just, what? Add up the exponents, okay? So this one is not a problem, minus 2x, 5. Now here, guys, I must consider the fact that I am dividing, okay? And so what, what's going to happen is that when the 4 goes up, it's going to change a sign. When the 2 goes up, it's also going to change a sign. Um, I'm just trying to use your language. That's how you guys understand it, I am sure. And then this, so this has to be minus 4, and that has to be minus 2x, okay? And so uh, the 2x here will uh, be add to zero with the minus 2x. So I've got two to the exponent five. And then here again, this 2x and that give me a zero. And then three minus four is just minus one. So I have uh, here two to the exponent five over five. And this is 32 over five. Um, of course, we don't like writing in proper fact, uh, fractions, okay? So you just got to think about it. Five will go um, six times there, and then you are left with two over five. 
Um, however, I think it would not be a big deal if you left it at that, okay? And then <laughs> finally, the last question, guys, consider the following number, square root 27, cube root of minus 27, and square root of minus 27. Which one of these is irrational? So remember, irrational numbers are those numbers which we cannot represent as a fraction, okay? They've got decimals, but we cannot really represent them as fractions, things like square root two, square root three, square root five, etc. So if you look at 27 here, 27, square root 27, essentially nine times three, right? And this simplifies them to three square root three. And so that is irrational, that is irrational because three is irrational. So this number here is definitely irrational, non-real. Well, you may say, hey, no, isn't it two of the, isn't this, is it both rather? No, it is not because if you look at minus 27, remember we do find cube roots, okay? of negative numbers. Why? Because um, negative one to the exponent three is negative one, but negative one to the exponent two is what is positive one. So really with cubes, yes, we will get numbers. So actually let's try and solve this and see what's going to happen. Minus 27, remember, is minus three to the exponent of three. And then uh, uh, that cube root just means that. So you can see this is minus three, three times one over three, okay? So this thing is a real number, okay? And so this here will definitely be non-real. I mean, is there a solution to this? Is there a solution to this? Is there a solution? Okay, that's, that's the question. Okay, can a half exponent, what can change that negative sign? Not really. Okay, how it, actually, how would you even expand that if you think about it? So in, in, in case of the cube root, you know, it may be in case you are doubting um, cube root of negative three, we can expand this because now we're gonna have negative three uh, uh, to the exponent of, I must have that here because we used to 27, uh, to the exponent of one over, Three. So you can see actually this thing will take care of that, okay? But in this case, that one, how is it gonna take care of the rather, yeah. How is this thing here gonna take care of that, okay? My apologies about that. So how is this thing, how do we still expand that? That's, that's the key question, okay? How do you, uh, we know we can expand x squared this is x times x, but if it's a fraction, how do you expand it? Okay, <clears throat> so that it will be definitely be a complex number, all right? So this will be non-real. Those are the questions that you really got to ask yourself. Otherwise, guys, you could have just gone ahead and punched that in your calculator. You will see that you will get a math error. Of course, that's if you will not be in the complex mode. All right, guys, I'll leave it here. The next video will have question two and uh, throughout every question will be in a separate video. Cheers.